a very good evening uh, to the viewer outside right there. Uh, this is Lighter TV broadcasting live from Koboko and you're most welcome to our weekly sports review and I'm not alone. Today in studio I have a very important guest with me. You're most welcome. Uh, thank you very much uh, my brother Kokole uh, for hosting me uh, for this uh, uh, edition uh, of the week. Uh, my name is I'm called Sadik Sebi. Okay, that is Swadik Sebi, of course, the CEO for Koboko Rising Stars, for some of you who don't know. And the guy is here with me in the studio. Uh, I'll be taking you through in the next 15 minutes of our weekly edition for the sports round in the local scene. And to begin with, uh, we are going to have basically about uh, three scenes that we shall be talking about, as you always know. One, we shall be looking at the fourth division uh, that is to come on the way uh, which is very very soon kicking off and uh, the fourth division as we all know are uh, the teams that have been participating and this time again they'll be participating we have uh, clubs like the uh, Nyanglia Super Eagles we have Border View uh, we have Flamingo we have Oraba FC uh, this time also Kimu coming in that means the teams are aiming so so much for the fourth round of uh, the league that's in the local scene and up next, we shall have also in the card, uh, we have the next games to come. Uh, we shall have Koboko Rising Stars. They will play BK at home. Meanwhile, our own team, uh, that is Tipsa, will travel to Odamachako. That's a very tight game. But for now, uh, we shall talk about the most interesting game. Uh, that's why our CEO is here. Uh, that's pertaining day Division 3 as a Division 3 game. But before we proceed, viewers outside there, let's sit in for a short commercial break. When we get back, we shall take from there and get more from the CEO. Welcome back from that short commercial break and you're tuned in to Lighter TV broadcasting live from Koboko. And uh, I've just said when we get back, we shall talk about most interesting game uh, that's going to be here tomorrow at Nyaro Playgrounds. Uh, that's not other than Rising facing it off with BK. Koboko Rising Stars, of course, in the third division this time, they are lying eighth any person with eight points played so far uh, with number of games like seven games played and uh, tomorrow when they play that will be the eighth game and really a couple of questions coming in i think sadik uh, this is now right to you um of course you guys did start very very well of course i understand from the signing good number of players signing i see this time are uh, the likes of tawakal who have previously been for arwahil and this time is you with you guys and of late i want to start with i want to know of late, the team has not been doing well. What 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 exactly has been happening behind that? Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother Kokole, uh, for uh, that, that uh, area I'm trying to look into. Uh, first of all, uh, to the viewer outside there, uh, you know, where we have reached, it is the third division league in the country. You know, uh, it's a league and. Uh, we start it like a marathon. You know, when you start a marathon, some teams or some participants, you don't know, normally start at a high gear, you know, to finish a marathon. So the league is still fresh, we have just started. It is true, we had some uh, issues here and there, and it is normal with any other club uh, in the world, it happens uh, for sure. And uh, the urgent thing is that uh, we have to really cooperate together, we have to cooperate together to sit down, uh, to see into that uh, we are back in track and for sure we have lost some uh, two or three games uh, we have come back uh, remember our last two game we played uh, we had to pick a 4-0 win against uh, uh, Yumbe, Yumbe Heroes yes, Yumbe Heroes, yeah. yes uh, that one shows that uh, the team has come back for the real marathon now uh, our immediate game was in Uganda Cup uh, we went to Sibon in the other side of Yumbe in the pajama we had to pick uh, a very good win also important win outside there that has seen us uh, to the next round of uganda cup uh, which we are going to play against the okokoro and uh, i, I may to understand the game has been pushed that is on fourth yes yes fourth, fourth. Yes. Uh, the team is back and uh, we're sitting on up uh, our challenges we're turning them to success yeah, I think that is Swadik Seb there. They have come on track and the game has just started. I just love that. And I think tomorrow, uh, BK, that is lying, you know, uh, having five points. 
that is to the games they are played yes. and Kobok rising stars off the relegation zone yes. just like some space after uh, the closing zone they have eight points exactly. how prepared are you for tomorrow's game uh, as i said you know in, in management our role is to find a problem yes then how do you come uh, off the problem so for sure we started the marathon just like when they say set and go, okay. we're still trying to make it is where you can set that pace uh, and later you feel yes, you should balance like it. Athletics. Okay. You, at, you first of all need to see sometimes, uh, you know, it's a tactics. You need to also see that uh, your opponents go and then you follow them. You know, sometimes it's not easy to start in front where you chase the air. It's also good to also hang in balance to see that it's a league, it's, better, it, it's a long journey. So we have come back and the boys in the camp, according to the reports I'm getting from the camp, the boys are doing very well. Tomorrow is going to be another uh, thrilling game. Uh, BK is going to face it hard okay. in the field of Nyala um, I think, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we really love to see you there. Another breaking news that also uh, coming in from uh, the Rising Stars camp is that the likes of Asio, all the boys around in the camp, and I think tomorrow they will be in the game. Yes. So I think, as the CEO said, it will be another cracker tomorrow. Let's come and support the game live at Nyelo Playgrounds. Please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. Uh, that's Lighter TV uh, right there. And we are in, of course, what to call the sports around the world, and uh, that's in the local scene. I want to take you through in some of the results that were played today. Uh, Yumbe Heroes actually did lost two goals to nil, uh, that is to uh, the strongest side, that's none other than um, Total. Total this time doing so so well and I think they will progress with that. As other results I seem to come on the way and we shall confirm you shortly after that. Looking at the Nyagak zone, of course we also have other results. We have Navy Central uh, winning one goal to zero, that's against Kulva Rainbow. We also have Zeu hammering alpha rising stars three goals to one and lastly also on the card of, uh, from the results we have paida uh, that is padea padea rising stars also winning two goals to zero against nyahama uh, that tells you how tough the region is getting and right back to uh, rising stars of course tomorrow that game is a bit tight and i need to understand from you uh, if really in the other challenges that you guys could face because the way you talk I see the clubs really prepared for tomorrow's game and all you said is there any other uh, maybe information pertaining to tomorrow's game that would like to talk to the fans to also get to know because we understand one of the ways through which people get to know about the club is when we come to a studio like this and we share out mm. yeah. uh, thank you very much uh, my brother uh, as far as games of tomorrow are concerned as I told you in the camp uh, nothing much bad that will affect our game tomorrow. The boys are all on ground, except uh, some few injury concerns. Uh, like I'm getting a report here from uh, the medical department. We have Luki Cosmas, which will be ruled out due to some kind of injury. And then uh, Rajab Asik also has picked some ankle injury during training. Uh, he may not also feature tomorrow. Uh, Ima has some kind of uh, fever as well as also Takali, but we have to ascertain before the final team news that may come tomorrow. So if you also tune to our social media outside there, uh, you'll get all these uh, reports from tomorrow uh, before the game starts two hours ahead right. of the game. Uh, the other things that uh, we can manage in the camp, yeah. but all in all, honestly, 90% were ready for the game. We shall get all the I three points. I just love that, and I think uh, viewer outside there that's right from the PRO it's not a second hand information yes, and for sure um, um, I just believe yes, that things will work out yeah from the club CEO uh, things work out much much better uh, taking us to the next level uh, that is in the Uganda Premier League our own club Arua Hill the Super Arua Hill being hammered seven goals to one that is against the giant Kitara mm, 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 mm. and I couldn't believe that yeah. happening and one of the reasons emerging behind the team traveled with all eight players that's including the goalkeeper that means in the pitch there were only seven players playing that is absolutely and you, ex you definitely expect such kind of humiliation very very disappointing they were very sorry for our hill and to my own understanding we could still do something better mm. um i mean co in your own ways what do you think could be one of these things that really made a kind of huge humiliation for a team like our hill 
You know, uh, thank you very much for bringing that as a concern for sure. That's now the concern in West Nile. We really need to do something to rescue the football uh, fraternity in this region. It's not easy to see one of our iconic club that is up there in the Ghana Premier League uh, being in this stage. You know, it's, it's not a laughing matter. We need to come together and we see what are, what are the problems. Some of the problems I made to understand I follow from their, uh, the, their, their social media handle could be one of the issues to do with finances. More so, if you get uh, sponsorship, uh, it is not paid on time. So, so I think can dwell the team backwards. These players that play these games, also we have in our local uh, clubs within. So when the finance are not there, the players can sacrifice uh, himself to play the game. But again, they might, the psychological, this player is tortured. At the end of the, at the, end of the game, if you're not uh, paid, you don't get something also to survive on. It affects your performance in the field. And later time, you find uh, maybe better offer from other clubs, begin to fish out your best players. And at the end of the day, you find you having only like uh, the, the, the scenario of, 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 of Arua here, Arua Hill only going with eight yeah. players. Yeah. So where are the rest of the, the, the members? It means they might have gone to other better clubs. Like we saw, uh, not for bad, uh, Geriga yes. posting that is leaving the club. So they have moved to better uh, uh, places. So it means you need to come down to really support these clubs. Because now they are laying out very many, I mean, players are moving out and some of them are not, are not going to have space and uh, they, they'll be jobless. Where will those ones go? So let us try to make football an art for survival. So we pray hard that Arua Hill really comes That's back right. and we travel with the full squad and see if the other things we make and so on. Okay, as we come to the end of it, uh, Sodik, I think your last remarks, maybe I really need to know what are your last words pertaining the big plans that you have for the team? Uh, thank you very much uh, without wasting time. We have a lot of plans. You know, we know our logo, our motto. We never give up easily. We normally come in full swing when you see there's a problem. So one of the action points that will sustain us and shall push harder for the league and even compete, because we're not far away, by the way, from the, the first position. Yeah. We're still there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can still come back to the first position and move on when we organize ourselves a concrete down yeah. here. Yeah. So we have a potential target that we need to come to, to go for and bring into the team Good. to add on to, you know, we're targeting the January transfer uh, season is starting very soon. Yes. We have some uh, players that were, were scouting and uh, we cannot yet give it at this appropriate time. We shall give it when the best time comes. And then uh, to our supporters, really thank you very, very much. I know some of them might be uh, watching us live. Uh, we have the likes of Mr. Kemis Ivan uh, Evans. Uh, he supported us a lot, a lot, a lot. I really want to thank him so, so much. I know he must be tuning on. Uh, he supported us, by the way, with the 20 pairs of plane boots. Now, imagine this is at one passion. If all of us could come, come together, and, come join together and join hands together, not only for rising, also to our clubs. We have our sister clubs. We have Nyai down there. We have. Uh, we have Abogo tips uh, FC. Tips yeah. FC is mm -hmm. down we have there. So we, we really need to support Good. these yeah. clubs. We start from Koboko, we move to West Nile, and we rescue our teams so that we shine in the world of football uh, uh, so, so much. Not only him, in Koboko Rising, I also want to give a special appreciation to Kula Tano, Eka Tano. There's a gentleman called Mr. Change. That is the, I made to understand, the brain behind Kula Tano, Eka Tano. He has been so supportive to us. Uh, we really thank you very much, and others that you cannot mention, the likes of good stakeholders that cannot mention on the supporting football in the district, the likes of the duo of Koboko, by the way, has been supportive not only to us, but other clubs within Koboko has been taking it so serious. So we, call, we appeal to the fans outside there, let for us know yes, for more support. With that, we can move to a greater height. That has been so, so much tremendous remark. Uh, the last words from the CEO himself, that's none other than Swadik Sebi for Rising Stars. And our dear listeners, we have come to the end of our weekly sports review. My last word is that please don't forget to like and view our channel. Uh, that's none other than Lighter TV broadcasting right from Koboko. And hope to catch up again in the next episode of our weekday sports roundup. From me, it has been Swadik.